Good stories start with, once upon a time at St. Joseph's, students received one-to-one -one rollout laptops, and so their lives became inevitably linked to technology. Nearly all students also own phones and iTouch devices, and some students, the geeks, took to their devices obsessively. The problem is, they spend so much time on their devices watching YouTube, playing games, and Facebooking that they became bored. So much consumption without creation that their brains began to shrink and their creativity was stifled. The IT guy noted this, the amount of talent being wasted. He had an idea. He wanted to give these students a chance to learn about technology, not only consume it. He saw these students as an untapped resource. He wanted to form a group of technical experts, a student technical supergroup. He advertised internally at the school for a group called We Can Do IT for all ages and all students to prove and enhance their geek abilities and so the We Can Do IT team was born. Students like Brendan, a serious gamer who has an ability with hardware, a love for programming as well as being an original thinker. Sam, website builder, iBooks author creator and advertising guru. Jonathan, musical and artistic genius, garage band expert. Matt B, iBooks legend and FIFA master and insomniac. Matt R, advertising and project manager and League of Legends expert. They came up with a logo and motto and developed a website where they would post progress and achievements. They set up a work area, an old change room which they modified and added secondhand furniture and workbenches and desks and tools and aging computers and hardware to pull apart and play with and learn. At lunch times they could listen to music or play games. They could eat any food they liked and they liked junk. As long as they learned about all things tech, Apple or Microsoft and iPads and ebooks and iBooks and operating systems and networks and hardware. It was to prepare them for work, the real world, they would advertise their services and help people. The idea is to help teachers to develop content for the school and help feeder schools with support and advice, form business partnerships with local charities to offer them IT help and to get work experience and to prepare them for when they decide to go into business themselves. It's not all fun and games, but it's an enjoyable learning experience where they can do something they love and perhaps build up real-world experience before they are unleashed and take over the world, if the world allows it.